Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the council in part two of episode four called Burning Bridges. We have got it narrowed down to two spears that may be the holy lance. Last episode, I asked you for your input. I got a little bit of it back, and you generally concurred with me. It seems that that Christian fish symbol isn't something that came into common use until kind of a hundred or so years after Jesus died, so it's unlikely to be on his lance. This one has the Eye of Ra, which after looking it up, might actually be the Eye of Horus. The Eye of Ra doesn't look like this, but Horus's eye is associated with Ra. Anyway, boring. This is the lance, and this is the one we are going to take. Does the music change when you examine? I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the Eye of Ra engraved on the tip. All right, guys, so I'm not certain that this is right. There's no room for error. It is my best guess. Am I sure this is the one to take? Do it. Trait unlocked infiltrator. Let's, I bet that means you think you chose the right spear. Infiltrator. Infiltrator. You have chosen the Holy Lance. Okay. We got this earlier. You pillaged Lord Mortimer's tomb. Fantastic. Join your mother at the wharf. So, guys, I was curious if this is how this story was going to go. After editing part one, I got the impression that mom actually wants to take this lance and leave the island and then come back later uh, in order to use it to kill Mortimer and home. If that is her plan, I doubt it's going to go off with a hitch. I don't think we're on a boat sailing back to England, spending the rest of chapter four in England, and then returning here for part whatever, episode five. I don't think that's going to happen. But after editing, I did get that impression from my mom that this wharf is, we're going. We're going. This isn't go kill Mortimer and then run to the boat. This is go. So we will see what happens. I imagine the moment I appear at the top of this tomb bad things will happen. Let's find out exactly how bad the things that are going to happen will be. And of course, thank you for joining me. Go ahead, click the like button, guys. I asked for 40 likes on the first one. I have no idea if we'll hit that yet. Um, the last episode one in the series only got 29, so that's why I'm aiming high. But I also released that that late. I released it late. I, it was after my long hiatus from making videos on YouTube. And don't worry, I ain't gone nowhere. Okay, episode four, The Spearhead. I have not found all of... Okay. Oh, no. Okay. I have chosen the Lance of Longinus. I convinced Piaggi to help me. I succeeded in extracting information from Von Volner. I explored the crypt of the Mortimers. I learned that Sir Holm gave a mission to Von Volner failed. I have not found all of the clues enabling me to identify the Lance of Longinus. Additionally, I did not find all of the copies of the Lance of Longinus kept by Lord Mortimer. Did I not properly explore that crypt, guys? I wonder what I did wrong. Either way, we have leveled up, and that means new stats, new points. We got four points to spend. Now, this is the one that we are attempting to get by the end of the game. Does that make sense? Maybe this? We'll level up questioning. And put three into manipulation. Leap of faith. I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Okay, and of course we get to read three books. We are quite low on the books department. I should not have done that. I should not have wasted one on questioning. Fool! What a fool. What a fool. Okay, so we'll take whatever we can get, guys. We're almost out of books. Let's just do these three. Boom. Okay, join your mother at the wharf. Now, to get to the wharf, we go inside and out the front door. We have not been in the wharf since episode part one, episode one. Way back in... March? May? When did we start this damn adventure? Alright, let's find our way out of this stupid hedge maze, and let's go to the wharf. Hey, Lord. Wow. 
What's the matter with him? Scared me. <laughs> Excuse me, monsieur. I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why? What are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short quick. Uh, hit him. Uh, character, a journal. Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> Slapped him right across the mouth. Back down, you little French. <laughs> Okay, guys, I got a little too loud there during that scene. I am going to make my way straight for the wharf. Which way do we go? Dining hall and library. Or conclave and small salon. I'm going this way. <laughs> Can't believe I slapped Napoleon Bonaparte in the face. It said hit him. I didn't expect like a, a girly slap across the French mouth. Now, we, we have to be very careful, guys. Both Volner and uh, Piaget have a vague idea of what we're up to. So getting through this main hall is probably not going to be a smooth procedure. Hey, that's that symbol again. That's that symbol. Uh-oh. Ah, Louis, perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. You think I'm scared? Think I'm scared, boy? Well, looks like we're gonna have to talk to old Lord Mort here. Now, he has, um, he has a couple different types of these guards, and there are some here in light blue uniforms with white masks. Those are the normal ones. He seems to have an additional cadre of- Come closer, please. Blackface, it's time guys. we had a little chat. I wanted you. Oh no, your hand! Damn it, no! So that's it. She's prepared to use you. What do you mean? It wasn't enough for her to lose her hand. She had to make you lose yours too. I cannot permit this to continue. Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? Okay, let's roll with Mortimer here. So you're going to tell me she's wrong and that she's a liar? She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. I told you, Immortimer. I said that in episode one. He is the devil. Since when have the demons been among us? Did they manipulate thoughts? How many of you are there? Other questions? How many? What is happening to my mother? What exactly is a demon? What are their intentions regarding men? Why tell me all of but this? But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's... that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago, to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true nature to her. The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? 
Indeed. Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Al Azif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. How about what about what exactly is a demon? How would you qualify your species scientifically? Hmm. Good question. What is your area of expertise? Uh, <laughs> none of the above, sir. Uh, these are all extra difficult because we have this negative alteration. I have no golden elixirs. Uh, my lord, I'll save the, the points. Truth. I don't see myself as a scientist. Well, consider us as a simple species still unknown to most of men. Thus, we are born. We have the capacity to change bodies, that is all. What are the demon's projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class, it's ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families. And the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. I knew they were brothers. I figured that out back uh, when I first broke into uh, the study behind the nightmare. Since when have demons been among us? And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. That's a freebie. Now, we don't know much about Mortimer. Where is he on my sheet right here? Immune to conviction and science. That would not be good. And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing. We are the spark that inspires man to search, to grow, to evolve. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. That's a good point. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. I think that is almost every question. You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. Okay. All right, guys, so there are a million questions I can ask. I don't intend to accuse him of being the devil, so we're going to go here Continue. now. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. Uh, why a conference instead of imposing your will? 
Is there a connection with Elizabeth? This is correct, right? So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wants to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but... After living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I've something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh. Haven't you guessed yet? Okay. <clears throat> That's a freebie. That's a bad one with him. Let's go here. My lord, I don't know if I can answer in all honesty. Please do, Louis. You can say anything to me. Believe me. You must admit, being surrounded by all these servants isn't doing much to relax me. Oh, forget the servants. They're only here to ensure my safety. Why? What are you afraid of? Well, I wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea, Louis. But you have spent your entire life fighting the occult. You have just stolen the Holy Lance from me, and I do happen to be a demon. Do you not realize the power that relic has on a demon? Uh, no, I don't know about its power. Yes, I've no idea. I don't know what that means. Yes, I have no idea. Well, that's true. Sarah must have told you, didn't she? Surprises me that you've wasted all this time looking for the lance instead of fleeing. You know I know, don't you? Let's say I think you know enough to doubt that you could be persuaded to leave without a reason. Am I right? The lance is supposed to kill demons, right? And indeed it can. At least some of them. That's why I've chosen to protect myself. You never know. Just imagine if Sarah wanted to get rid of me through you. Because that's exactly what she wants to do, isn't it, Louis? Uh, he knows we stole it, so he knows what she's thinking. Indeed it is. Of course. Except that she hasn't told you everything, Louis. That's why this discussion is so essential. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too. Are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it. It's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I... to you. 
I... What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Darth Vader moment right there. We just had our, our Empire Strikes Back moment. You are my son. I am your father. Not too shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. Uh, uh, yes. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. You guys do this Just too. let me show you the way. Play along. I should relax. Open Empty your, your mind. mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Emily. Emily. I, I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Emma. Now, Emily. Now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... Uh, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. Oh my god, this is fantastic, guys. The twists that I did not expect... Now, in the previous uh, episode's releases, I've gotten early access to record before the game comes out. This time they said no chance, too many spoilers. We're giving it to you the day it comes out. And I see why. I see why. These spoilers are fantastic. But I would break their spirit, wouldn't I? But it would be in violation of their privacy, wouldn't it? Great. <laughs> Let's try it, this. It'd be a violation of their most intimate thoughts, wouldn't it? To begin with... There's nothing obliging you to do it. You already had the ability without even knowing it. I just gave you the option of putting it into practice if you want. Moreover, it would be wrong to evoke morality here. Every species is different, Louis, and this is the way we are made. That's all there is to it. You are free to use this talent or not. And what's more, it will be up to you to decide what to do with the thoughts you read. That is where the values of right and wrong do come into play. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. I knew it! It's a bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Holm? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. 
You are now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlocutors. That means people you're having conversations with. Each use of mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted to an immunity, two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Cool. I'm off. Oh, I could try reading his mind? No thanks. You're right. I need to go now. Uh. <laughs> Bye, Dad. I'm going to call him See Lord, you later, Mortimer. Lord Mortimer. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Oh, Lord. Holy crap. Okay, guys, so I mentioned in part one... It's not one, that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. I mentioned in part one that during my last vision, I was quite convinced that Lord Gregory Holm, Sir Gregory Holm, was able to know that I was there. And at the end, he essentially banished me and I woke up and zipped out of that conversation. But we're going to make our way down to the wharf. We're going to go find Sarah and we're going to confront her and probably read her thoughts. I would think. You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, our I should... Our personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, Emily. Calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. Ha! <sighs> Okay, guys, so time to use a, you know what, you know, we're going to save our Devil's Thorn. It's ultra valuable now. Uh, Sarah didn't kill Emma. We know that to be true. Everyone here knows that to be true. I also know this one works on her, assuming she's the real Emily and not Emma. Emily, put the weapon down. She, she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Well, to be fair, we've all made mistakes. And look at her, Emily. She's paid for hers. I'm all alone now. Duchess, I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Are ah, you? Shut your mouth. You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me. Emily? What did you say? Okay, so... Let's take a look at the old journal. We believe Emma to be dead, and we believe Emily to have survived. Um, and I think that's all but confirmed now by the fact that I just took a psychology vulnerability. If that was Emma, we would know. Now, I think the time has come to read a thought. What was her other... She's also vulnerable to... Uh, pardon... Immune to logic. Let's try this. No, I'm not like her and never will be. Okay. Perfect opportunity. This is exactly what she's thinking. You're not like her. Neither you nor Emma are like Sarah. Ever since you got here, you've always tried to help me. I trust you, Emily, and Emma would never have betrayed me either. No, she... she wasn't like that. She was loyal. But why did Sarah betray Emma? Why? I... your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. And? She would never have talked, even under torture. So why get rid of her? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there for God's sake. So what are you talking about? Okay. Oh, these are so expensive, guys. Emily, all I ask is that you let me tell the truth, but you uh -oh. never believe me. You leave me no choice. I'm going to kill her, Louis. 
Okay. Maybe we have to use a free skill. Don't tell me Emma died because of that book. I have to know anything but that damn book. Good to know. Good to know. We are going to do this. Emily Mortimer's a demon. In the literal sense of the word. What a... Lord Mortimer has been around since the Third Crusade. He fiddles with his family records so he can keep maintaining his identity. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear on everything I hold dear, that's the truth. What? But when did... Louis, I... Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I know, but it's the truth, Emily. How do you expect me to accept this? We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such beliefs. Do you remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In his study, he keeps the Mortimer family tree. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade. And they are all called William. He justifies his own existence, Emily. Look, I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... Unfortunately for us, it'd be impossible to even make up a story like that. All right. I believe you. Thank him. You owe him your life. I have always been very lucky to have him as my son. I really thought my next breath would be my last. Well, anything's possible. This is no time to be joking. Just help me climb aboard this boat, and let's get off of this cursed island. No. I'm not going anywhere, and neither are you, until you've told me everything. For crying out loud, what are you talking about? Paris, 1763, number 12 on Rue des Martyrs. No. I beg you, please trust me. He's manipulating you. We must leave. Paris. Can't you see he wants you? And he'll do anything to turn you against me. Number 12 on Rue des Martyrs. He had to pay for what he did to me. I panicked. There she was with the baby do. I thought it was the right time to touch it, but To when... touch it? By disemboweling her and stealing me from her? The girl was already condemned to die. He never leaves any witnesses behind. She meant nothing to him. And I absolutely had to find a way of stopping him. Let's wait. You snatched a newborn baby from its mother's womb with the sole goal of seeking revenge. From the second I took you in, I couldn't bear to be apart from you. I looked after you, fed you, raised you like a mother. This is the moment. I am your mother. She believes it, guys. I know. You always took care of me. I devoted my whole life to teaching you to distinguish between right and wrong, so you would have the choice. You are not like him. But, but, but you never told me. I wanted to. I very nearly told you everything at least a dozen times. You didn't, though, did you? Why? I, I, I don't know, Louis. Okay, that is fantastic. I love Devil's Thorn. That's a freebie. That's a freebie. Do we know anything about Mama? Why do I have so much trouble spotting the names here? There, right there. We know nothing, and that didn't help. So it's neither of these. That's... Try this. It was easier not to face up to it. Not to stir it all up. Don't judge me, Louis. You were afraid of my reaction. I wanted to tell you everything once you were old enough to understand. Uh, I'm a Forgive grown man. Me. Louis, yes. I made mistakes in the past, but now I'm ready Do to- Do you consider me a mistake? No, not you. You are what I am most proud of in my whole life. You are good. You fight to do right. You are not like him. Still, he is my father. Why did you steal me? You don't want to know, believe me. For once in your life, be honest. Why all this mess? Why do you have it in for him so much? Why? Because I'm his daughter. I know what he's doing. I see he has his eye on you. He's hovering around you, tempting you. He did it to me before you. And if you don't live up to his expectations, he will cast you away. Is that what happened to you? I wasn't good enough for him. So he rejected me. What do you mean? He tried to initiate me, but... It would seem I am unable to develop his talent. I can't withdraw my mind from my body. I get it. 
The reason why you abducted me is because he didn't love you, isn't it? He doesn't love anyone, Louis. Don't be taken in. This is a huge decision. Drop dead. I never want to see you again. I forgive you in spite of everything you were right. And we don't have an opportunity to use our mind powers, but she does believe she is our mother. Let's go here. I'm a little mixed up, but I do understand your choice. You were wrong not to speak to me about it before, but I understand that you didn't want to leave me with him. Oh, thank you, Louis. I promise never to lie to you again, my son. Come, let's go home. I can't. What do you mean? Why not? I've got to know. Trust me. We'll meet in Paris. He wants you, Louis. He will never let you go. Don't worry. Here. This is yours. Don't forget, Louis. You've got the lance. You can beat him. If you hit him with it, he won't be able to escape from his mortal envelope. And he will die with it. Wow, that went fast, guys. Episode 12, farewell. I stopped Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonaparte? Pardon me. Bonaparte from getting the lance. I floored Bonaparte. I arrived at the wharf before Sarah Dirichet Shay was wounded. I stopped Lady Hillsborough from shooting Sarah Dirichet. Shay. I found out about my demon nature. I did not find out about Sarah's lie. Which one was the lie? Should I have used that at the first opportunity? Before she was thinking, I am my, your mother, because that's... What could I have missed? What could I have missed? I could have had a discussion with Manuel Godoy. I'm not too worried, guys. We're going to call that episode 12, Farewell. But I'm going to save the last chunk uh, for next time round. We're going to go ahead and apply all four of those. Advance. And we're going to read the one book we have available. That's it. All right, guys, so next episode, we will continue this story starting off right here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Click on the playlist up on your screen. Don't forget to click the like button and hit me up in those comments, and I will see you in part three of episode four of The Council.